Hi, Sharon. Can I help traffic's just starting to go past but we've just been in the model shop over here and I'll be honest the prices are incredible I don't know how he's still got the stuff in stock because he's got things that are still at the old prices from three four years ago and we had a look at a few of those in there you want to get rid of your bag and then you can yeah actually I was dropping anywhere hey Jen can I help <laughs> just having a browse I tell you what, everything's going up though. Well, I go. Yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? It's all this stuff coming in from China. But uh, I can remember being flabbergasted when the first Batman locomotive went over a hundred quid, and now they all are. Yeah, it's in fact, I think there's, there's some knocking on the door of two hundred. Some some of the multiple units. I think it's the class one hundred one's gone past two hundred. Yeah. yeah. Which uh, that's weird. That's that's one that I do remember. Okay. This, I didn't realise he was painting as late as 1979, that with the APT. Really captured the uh, the power of these things. Yeah, just having a look at the stuff that's in stock. It's um, been in stock so long that it's free price rises, but brand new. And uh, there's loads of really good stuff here, but there you are. Class 56XX tank, VR black weathered. Brand new, 5370. 53.71 for that, never even been out of the box. And uh, looking through, we've got um, well, there's all manner of weapons in these boxes. So, <laughs> OBAs, £15.10. They've just brought out a new batch of these that are pushing 30. Maybe a Eastern Region ventilated van for. Uh, Nine pounds fifty. Very keen prices. That's what I like to see. Oh my word! Isn't that beauty? Look at that. Oh no, that's a set to behold. I have to go and ask him how much this is. Want, want, want. But couldn't leave empty-handed. I found a box full of pristine, brand new wagons at less than half what the same wagons go for now so get yourself down here grab a bargain i'm here in the conservatory and uh, i'm just having a ponder actually on some of the stuff that's in here and what i'm thinking is i can probably get more stuff in here if i angle everything so you see like the bottom two shelves i've already done it uh, but the plan is to angle some of these other shelves so that I can get more in this cabinet, because at the moment I'm not doing an awful lot out in the shed, very, very busy. Um, so I just thought it might be nice to get uh, everything that I can on display. So uh, I'll take a ponder, take a, a few bits and pieces out of here. And then I've got over here in the stash um, a lot of other bits and pieces, and uh, I'll see what I can get into there and uh, other bits and pieces I'll just see what I can I can get in might be quite nice that's going to be my mission whilst uh, the battery on my old Volvo charges itself up Let's see what we can do well certainly fitted a little bit extra in it's probably looking a little bit crowded but at the moment it's as good a place as any to store various things and uh, yeah it looks all right I mean, it'll get rearranged as and when uh, I go back out into the shed and start doing a bit more. But until then, it's just nice to be able to see what I've got. And uh, that does help a little bit. Although, of course, it does obscure some of the um, some of the details and that. But I don't know, it looks all right. Everything else looks fine. Don't forget to like this video, share it too, and subscribe to the channel and you'll be the first to know about new videos as and when they go up. But thanks again for watching this. This is me, Jennifer Kirk, saying until next time you take very good care of yourself. Bye for now.